the hand of God. That's the theme for this morning. Uh, reading John chapter 10 and, uh, you know, verse <clears throat> 28, which is, I give them eternal life and they will never perish and no one will snatch them out of my hand. In verse 29, it says, My father who has given them to me is greater than all, and no one is able to snatch them out of the father's hand. I and the father are one. You know, many there are many references to the hand of God in the scripture. And uh, here in John chapter 10, it's speaking about salvation and its security, that we have eternal security. But another aspect of the hand of God is, like when we see God doing something in our life, you can, you can sense this is God, this is not us. Some things are happening, things are changing, things are moving. And you say, mm, I couldn't do this, this is God. And the scriptures refer to this, you know, the hand of God. He is moving, the hand of God. This is the hand of God. We see that in Isaiah 49 verse 16, I have engraven you on the palms of my hand. Again, God, Christ is talking about in that sense, about how we are eternally secure, you know. And... Uh, when we see the scriptures in the life of Joseph is one of the greatest examples of how God's hand moves, you know, God's hand moves. Ezra would talk about it in Ezra chapter 8 verse 22, the good hand of God was upon us because of all the things that were falling into place. The word good is actually the word T-O-W-B, Tob, it means beautiful. The beautiful hand of God was always with us. But when you think about the life of Joseph, you think it this way. You see in every step of his life, you see God doing a little bit. Something is going on. And that's the theme of hand of God. Now, when, why am I saying this is the hand of God is moving in your life and my life this morning. And it moves in our lives every day. We don't see it. We don't understand it. Sometimes it's a mystery. It's like what's going on. But never uh, forget that God is moving. The hand of God is operating in your life. That's what gives us encouragement. That's what gives us strength. The hand of God. It's a beautiful hand of God. It's not a hand of judgment. You know, it's not a hand of judgment. It's a hand of love. And when you see the life of Joseph, that's what we see. You know, he was loved. You know, he was loved. Uh, before he could love people, you know, he knew that God loved him. Uh, he kept receiving the love of God. This is very crucial for the believer. Because you see in his life, you know, his brothers envied him. They hated him. They didn't fellowship with him. They did a conspiracy to kill him. You know, they sold him. They lied about him. All that stuff happens. But what happens? Joseph still loves them. You didn't sell me. God sent me. <laughs> what did he see? He knew that the hand of God was moving in his life. Same thing with you and I, you know. We, we learn to be receivers of God's love. Receive that love, you know, receive that love. When you know that you are loved, uh, you can go through any situation, any circumstances, you know God loves you. So whatever happens, you know, love will take you through. The love of God will take you through. And that's why we need the scripture, you know. That's the scriptures show us the love of God towards us, the hand of God. Second thing, I think Joseph knew, you know, the hand of God was because there is a purpose in my life. There is a vision, there is something. Because remember, he got the dream. The family is bowing down before him. He knew that there was a purpose. And it was the hand of God that was moving in his life. Because he, wherever he went, he was put into a position. He's in Potiphar's house, he becomes the overseer. He goes to the jail. He becomes the head one, head guy there. You know, he goes to Pharaoh's kingdom. He's second to the king. He goes and he takes over Israel. In a sense, he's a, there is a purpose in his life. He knew it. You know, there was a purpose. God had called him. Your family, that dream said that one day they will bow down before you. So everywhere he went, God fulfilled that purpose. The hand of God was with him. He was in a distant place in Potiphar's house. Hand of God was with him. You know. He knew that because the scripture says in Genesis 39 many times, four times I think it says, in the, and, the, and God was with him, and God was with him, the Lord was with him. Joseph knew that, you know. Third thing when we think about the hand of God is the faithfulness of God. God was faithful to Joseph. 
we see that in Psalm 105, 17 to 22. You know, you can see the faithfulness of God. 93 years he was in Egypt. 93 years. And uh, what did he see? Just the faithfulness of God. The hand of God talks to us about the faithfulness of God. We don't see life through failure, you know, by sight, by feeling. We see it through faith. And when we see the hand of God moving in our lives by faith, we, it, bring, it builds trust. It builds trust in our life. He knew that he was blessed. You know, he knew that he was blessed. And <clears throat> it's like in Genesis 49, 24, it says, The hands of the Almighty God made him strong. You know, it was the mighty hand of God. And you can see that, you know, and uh, finally in Genesis 50, he makes a word about the promises, a promise about the bones. And we see the bones, you know, the bones cross the Red Sea, the bones cross the Jordan, the bones, you know, are there in the land. And Hebrews 11 talks about it, the bones reached its place. Why? The hand of God. It was very same with Jesus too. You could see the hand of God, God on the earth. And the reason why I'm doing this devotion is, you know, that we would realize that the hand of God is in our lives too, working. Loving, has a purpose, has a vision, you know, is faithful to you. And there's a promise that God makes and he will fulfill it. Be encouraged, you know, be strengthened, you know, focus on the scripture, be be people of doctrine. And remember this, you know, the hand of God. It's the beautiful hand of God. It's the mighty hand of God. He has brought you so far, He will take you even further. You know, don't stop now. He has brought you this far, He will take you even further. Stay faithful. Stay committed. You know, the hand of God in your life is beautiful. It's amazing. God bless.